your main man, Andrew Wood, is coming back today to talk to you about the Mage, the Ascension faction, the Marauders. Now, a lot of people think that the Marauders are insane. This could not be further from the truth. The Marauders are purity. They are carnal creation at its height. The Marauders emphasize that aspect in the world of darkness that comes up over and over and over again of creation, of beginning. The Lenafondi are the end that devours. They are the beginning. They are the seeds of the wild. So their perspective and Mage the Ascension, the Ascension War is all about perspective. It's all about creating the dominant paradigm and having that paradigm assumed by the simple-minded sleepers that infest this world. The marauders are so different from the sleepers, and the sleepers are largely, and for so very, very long, programmed by the technocracy. The marauders are pure. Now, you say, oh, the marauders are crazy. They can't be pure. How can that be? Well, let's see, and let's look at the most compelling evidence the marauders are often seen consorting with bringing back and trying to plunge this world back into a state where it existed in vastly long ago before the severing of the world of flesh from the world of spirit bringing back bygones into this fleshly realm attempting to create a harmony in bringing others along in their wave of insanity that some might call it but beauty a new dream of life, a state devoid of the corrupting influences of conformity that is so heavily prevalent in the weaver and the weaver-based philosophies that are the dominant paradigm of the world of darkness. The marauders eschew that, for they have eyes that see, and they hear old songs, and they bring back and sing those songs, songs that have been forgotten since the world was one. And the sky world and the ground were not separated, were not segregated from one another, but were in harmony, in complete unity. And that is what the marauders are, look at that voice. Now, some of the traditions actually look at them with respect, particularly the dream speakers who say there is wisdom in madness, and there is certainly wisdom in the marauders and that is something that anyone should be well aware of when engaging with a marauder when attempting to portray a marauder in a game they are probably eerily wise because the information they have is an information from another source from a place where other people cannot see they will match up with a lot of the characters who've gone ever so slightly over the boards in an hp lovecraft story for they see the truth of reality they look into the lines of the wall, and they see faces. They see things that exist just beyond this reality. And they wish to bring those things back, to interact with them, to come back to an earlier age where the world was new and young and beautiful and pure because the lack of purity is abhorrent to the marauders. And they want to envelop all those sleepers they come along and see in these true eyes to see the way the world was designed to be and this is impossible to stomach for the weaver for the technocracy for those agents of conformity they do not want people to think outside the box and the marauders are so far out of the box they can't even see it anymore and that is really where their paradigm comes in think the impossible is real you can fly and you will have wings you will dance with dragons and see unknown vistas of impossible imagination. You will go beyond the horizon and witness unbelievable amounts of enlightenment and wisdom and then bring these back and show the world how things really are and lift the veil of the sleepers and force them to see truth. For you are an agent of truth, of beauty, of purity. Unfortunately, those whose eyes are closed will simply dismiss you as mad.